How we doing everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro X tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about track stacks. So what are track stacks? Imagine a project with 50 tracks. Those tracks, some of them are very similar and you wish really hard that those were contained into a single track that you can automate with one fader. Actually here in Logic Pro X we can do that now with track stacks, which is a great feature. Uh, so why are we going to use these? Well, it turns out we can do a lot of different things with this. And for me, I think this is going to be a radical new way of creating and mixing as we go. You create a track and you can add it automatically to a submix or a track stack. And then we can mix on the fly. It's more efficient. It's better. It's easier to do. And, you know, just why not? We can do that now in Logic Pro X. So let's get right into it. How do we do this? So here in this song, I have a kit, clap, and reverse clap. I'm going to click the top, shift, click the bottom, right click, and do create track stack. Now it comes up with a couple options, folder stack and summing track, or stack. The first one is going to be a very basic stack. That's going to be your pan. Uh, it's going to be your solo, your mute, stuff like that. I mean, it's just very basic. The summing track is where you're going to get a lot more. You're going to be able to automate certain features that you won't be able to in the folder stack. And it's going to be more like a submix. And that's what we're going to go for here. We want that submix. So I'm going to create a summing stack. What happens in the interface here is it creates a new track called Sum1. I'm going to double click that and just call it Perk. Or for percussion. Because why not? I like Perk. Uh, so now we have these three tracks that we selected underneath the perk track and we can show and hide with the arrow to the left. The cool thing here is we can obviously automate every single one of our tracks still that kit clap and reverse clap but now we can automate that track that's being con that's containing the other three and so we're going to be automating all the others at the same time which is it's just cool. I mean, we could do this in Logic Pro 9 with buses and auxiliary tracks, but this is just a new way to view it inside of the arrange window. So uh, automation has been changed in track stacks. Now, if I go through and I can create submixes of different groups of instruments, which I'm going to be doing now, and I'm going to try to talk over it and not mess this all up. Honestly, as if I were to submix an electronic song, I would probably not do it the way I am doing it right now. I would create a percussion submix, and then I would create a, a low, mid, and high frequency submix for all the electronic instruments in the song, uh, and then I would probably just go from there and see what other kinds of submixes I need. Uh, right now, this is probably not what I would do normally, but for the sake of a tutorial, uh, this is what we're doing. So now I've created four track stacks, and these things we can view in the mixer very easily. If we open the mixer, a very simplified view of the amount of tracks in our project here. If we were to open any one of these track stacks, we can go in and view just what is shown in the arrange window. So what's going on behind the scenes here is that our three tracks that we selected right here to put into a track stack, we are pushing to a bus. And that bus is going to be that perk track that we created, that track that is containing all the others. So behind the scenes, it's nothing new, nothing new from Logic Pro 9. But what's new is how it's being shown in the range window and hidden. And it's going to be, it's very dynamic in that way. Uh, and it's very easy to create submixes. Uh, before, submixes were just this thing that nobody really knew about, anyone who's beginning, uh, anyone who's just starting to mix. It, they're, they're really not known because nobody really uses them, understood how to use them. But now they're really easy here with track stacks. So uh, let's get out. I guess you're kind of wondering at this point, cool, my tracks are in a track stack. How do I get them out? Because I don't like what I created. If you right click on that track stack or auxiliary track, you will see a uh, option called flatten stack. Once you hit that, it'll output both of your, uh, everything contained in that auxiliary track or stack into its original form. Very, very simple. So it's just, this is just a new way to mix, a new way to submix, a new way to view our tracks in the arrange window. And it creates a very, a very new way of mixing. Um, so if people were in Logic Pro 9 and creating submixes, this is, it wouldn't be too much different, like I've said. But uh, honestly, 
it's a very cool feature inside Logic Pro X. So everyone, thanks for watching. This is going to be the first in a long line of Logic Pro X tutorials, and I'll be sneaking some Logic Pro 9 in as well. Uh, so everyone, thanks for watching, and I will be back probably very soon with some more. Later.